One of the big reasons I love retro art so much is the shaders. I'm a big fan of upscaling and when I first discovered retro art back in January 2018, I started playing with the XBRZ shader. That shader turns your old graphics into high resolution modern graphics. They just look crisp and sharp around the edges. You don't see pixels anymore and it's still recognizably the same cool old game. I did find though that the XBRZ shader was struggling with lines that were intended to be straight, like for instance the edges around the letters M and A here. You can see this is the original game and this is what the XBRZ filter does with it, it's jagged lines. And I was always wondering whether eventually somebody would come up with a shader that was able to get these lines straight. Little did I know that actually over on the Libretro forums in this thread, they were working on exactly a shader like that. They started in November 2014, so this whole thread is actually five years worth of information. And when I discovered it, I actually read through the whole thing from start to finish because it is just so absolutely nuts what this shader can do like this is some recent screenshots from it and you can see that it just produces really beautiful sharp results so this is the original game this is 6xbrz and now the shader that i'm about to show you is called scalefx double a fast look at what this could do i mean that's just insane how do you activate this shader in retroarch let's take a look now, first of all, you want to go to Settings and then Drivers and pick the right video driver. The one to use is called GL Core, which is what the RetroArch developers recommended on October 13th, 2020. So pick that one and then go back to Main Menu, Online Updater and Download the Slang Shaders. Those are the shaders that are going to work with the GL Core driver. Now let's run a game and open the in-game shaders menu. So this is Commander Keen with the 6XBRZ filter and if you look at the palm tree on the far right you can see that the horizontal black lines they are a little jagged. So now we're going to bring up the quick menu in RetroArch and we're going to go to load shader preset. We're going to go to shaders slang and in here we're going to find the presets directory where the shader is tucked away. We're going to go to the bottom and you see here there are four scale FX filters. I tested all four of them. The really best one is ScaleFX AA Fast. I'm going to load this one and go back into the game. Now look at the palm tree again and notice that now these horizontal lines on the tree are actually nice and well rounded now. So this is now the game running with the ScaleFX AA Fast filter. Now one thing I did notice is that it actually and I'm dead. <laughs> uh, actually that it is a little bit less sharp than the 6xbrz filter used to be. And I went into the shader options to improve that. So you go to shader parameters, then you can set the deblur offset to 2.25, the deblur strength to 5.5 and the smart deblur all the way down to 0.05. And now go back into the game. Now here you're going to hardly see the difference. I'm going to show you this in an Indiana Jones screen screenshot. Now this is the game with 6xbrz. So this screenshot with the mouse cursor in it is 6xbrz. Now look at the edges of Sophia's hair or look at the tent up here. And now I'm going to show you the same thing with these sharpening settings applied. You can see that it just became a little bit sharper, a little bit crispier around the edges. Same thing down here with Sophia's hair. It's just a little bit sharper. The whole thing looks like a very small veil has been lifted and the whole image is just a tad sharper. Again, this is without the sharpening settings and this is with the sharpening settings. If you like these settings and you want them to be applied every time you run RetroArch, then you go into the shaders menu and you go to save and save global preset. You press that once and then this preset is going to be saved as your global preset and always is going to be run when you open RetroArch in any game in it. Also, you can save your shader preset, the one that you just created, as a new preset. You enter a file name here and then after you go back, you're going to find it right here. This is where I put mine, as you can see. It's just in the root of the shaders directory. So that's it. Enjoy!